Hello everyone, welcome back to Living with Lydia and this is your lovely host as usual, Lydia. Today's topic for discussion is coronavirus is destroyed. Yes, I say coronavirus is destroyed. This wasn't the topic for discussion today, but after watching a video of the rededication of the country Zambia to God, it makes me reflect about my relationship with God. We all know what is going on at present in the world about the coronavirus of a team, that people are not magnifying coronavirus. Instead of magnifying coronavirus, why not magnifying God? When things are like this, when things are so difficult, the best thing to do is to turn to the Savior, to the, our Creator. He knows everything. When we look at his word in what God said in Psalm 91, he said, He that dwelleth in the sacred place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So he is a refuge. He is a fortress. He said he will save us from the deadly pestilence or coronavirus. He has said it. That even if coronavirus is not spread in the day, it will not come near us. Over at night, it will be far away from us. He said, a thousand may fall at her side, and ten thousand by her right hand, but it shall not come near our dwellings. You and I that are dwelling under the sacred place of the Most High, we are secure. We are safe. We shall only see. We shall only observe. But it shall not come near us. It shall not near. It shall not come near our dwelling. Remember, let's rededicate our lives to God. Let's stand by His word because His word is faithful. His word is constant. He has spoken it, and it shall never come to Him. With this assurance and security in the word of God, I am safe. I and everything that pertains to me, we are protected. We are saved. Before I start preaching, let's look at the video of the rededication of Zambia. I think this may also make you maybe to rededicate yourself to God. Hello, citizens, let us pray. Oh God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob, God of those that fear your name, we beseech thee, we ask you, dear Lord. That even as I declared Zambia a Christian country, I rededicate this nation and submit it to you that you will have your own decision and will over us. We know, God, there is no king who appoints himself. There is no one who was born president. You alone appoint and you alone remove. Glory be to your holy name. Lord, we submit ourselves to you. But we ask you of this thing, because you loved the world so much that you gave it your own begotten son, that whoever believeth in you shall never perish, but shall have everlasting life. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty. And we shall say unto the Lord, you are our refuge and our fortress, the God in him and whom we trust. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Father, we ask you to look kindly upon this nation. Look at your people. They are distraught. They are indeed distressed. They are deprived. We seek peace, dear God. Yes, the peace that cometh from you. Not the peace of the world, but the peace that passeth all understanding. The peace of God. Oh, dear Lord Jesus, our Lord, I rededicate this nation as a Christian nation. I know we are at war against the devil, but the devil can never win. The devil was defeated on Calvary. Calvary brought us peace. That is the peace we shall enjoy in this nation. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Father, we surrender. Whatever we have, we surrender. And I ask you that you brought me up here at such a time as this, when other men were better 
they could have been here. But you brought me, Lord, in order to proclaim your name as our God. Father, I thank you. I thank you, God. Father, even in these dark moments of our nation, Lord, I ask this nation to join me, to proclaim Lord Jesus as our Lord, to proclaim you, God, as the ruler of this nation. We shall overcome. We shall overcome in the name of Jesus. Amen.